commit. The only limit to your impact is your imagination and your commitment. The fence is for losers, right? That's a, that's a harsh way to put it, but that's the reality is things get better when you look at life from a binary standpoint. You either want it or you don't. And if you want it, why wouldn't you go all in? And if you don't, why would you touch it? I can't tell you how many times I've been, you know, one toe in the water and it's like, why? Do you want this or not? First time I heard this, freshman year in college. And uh, it was one of those things where I always thought I worked hard. You know, I always kind of jumped into what I was doing and I wanted to get good grades and um, I, I invested in what I did. But I realized that I didn't quite grasp what it meant. And I, I walk up to the student center and I'm looking around and there's a, a flyer and it says, Holy Cross D1 men's rowing. And I'm like, yes, this is perfect. You know, I can make friends with like-minded people, you know, stay in shape. This is uh, amazing. And I go up and there are 73 people there, walk-ons. And what I didn't realize at the time was that they don't make cuts. You either quit or you don't. In senior year when we graduated, four walk-ons were left. And we always joke about it because it's not like we were far more talented or we had this superior skill set. We just committed to the process. We committed to the, the ups and the downs and the trials and the tribulations uh, and the difficulty. One of my first practices, you guys know what a rowing machine is, the thing in the gym, you sit down, you pull. Pretty straightforward, you pull, it tells you exactly how hard you pull, that's it. And so I'm sitting there, we're doing five sprints, 2,000 meter sprints. And uh, I'm suffering, you know, just going, the world of hurt. And after the second one, I get up and I go to the bathroom, I'm throwing up, I have a headache, I'm dizzy, and just feeling so sorry for myself. I'd never experienced anything like that before, this is all new to me. And eventually I get it together and I go down, and I sit on the erg, you know, feeling like a hero. It's like, all right, I'm back. And I sit down, grab the thing, and the coach walks up next to me, he goes, it's Eddie, right? Yeah, it's Eddie. He goes, yeah, that, that score won't cut it. And walks away. And uh, that was uh, uh, not a nice thing to hear because I always associated suffering with paying the price, right? How could I be going through that type of punishment and have someone uh, respond that way? Right? So we start the piece and now I'm like, uh, I have something to prove and I'm just ripping the thing as hard as I can and just not in a good place. And he comes up again, I'm like, all right, good. Right? Now he understands, he goes, look, Eddie, I don't know what you have to do mentally, I don't know what you have to do physically, but you gotta figure it out. And that's where it occurred to me, showing up isn't enough. Being in pain isn't enough because the guy from Georgetown you're racing on Saturday, Guy from Northeastern, you're racing on Saturday. They hurt too, but they're pulling faster. Right? Winning, truly winning is committing in every single way. It's immersing yourself in something because if you wanna be great, that's what it takes.